Despair stalks in every corner of Gaza as the Israeli embargo has strained the resources to the limit. The embargo has become tighter following the flare-up of violence between Hamas militants and Israeli forces on November the 5th. Israel says the embargo is aimed at preventing what it calls Palestinian fighters' missile attacks. The mood in Gaza is of despair and frustration before Islamic Eid al-Adha holidays, which began on Monday, as the cash-strapped financial institutions have ceased operations because Israel refuses to allow shekel into the impoverished territory. Banks have been shot because Israel refuses to allow cash transfers to the Gaza Strip. Israeli banks are also responsible because they blacklisted Gaza-based banks and refused to transfer money. Muslims traditionally give money to their next of kin on the occasion of Eid, but this time round, it's next to impossible. Thousands are putting most of the blame on Arab leaders who have turned a blind eye to their suffering. Border crossings are closed and we are suffocating here, and no one is paying attention to our plight. Arab leaders bear most of the blame for our suffering. People are milling around in the streets of Gaza, but they are hardly buying anything. People cite lack of money as the reason they cannot buy holiday gifts and clothing for their loved ones. Merchants complain that people are only browsing and not buying anything due to the harsh financial situation and the embargo. There is no money. How can people buy things? People come here to watch each other and browse without buying. The embargo has left them no money to spare. Israel eased the blockade on Thursday allowing foreign journalists, aid workers, and a limited amount of goods to enter the besieged coastal enclave. As Muslims throughout the world are preparing themselves for celebrating Eid al-Adha, Gazans feel left out due to the apathy towards the plight. Ashraf Shannon, Press TV Gaza.